I thought the Medieval Times mod that I did last alpha was pretty cool, so I thought this time I'd go ahead and take a look at the Call of Cthulhu mod pack, which I also saw last alpha, thought was interesting, but didn't really get a chance to play it. So uh, I'll take a look at it now. We've got the monsters, cults, factions, objects, straight jackets, which just sound awesome in general, and the storyteller, the double population one, because I think more people is more interesting. And then a bunch of other mods from the last alpha carried over sans a few of them because I never really use them or they don't really work too well with what I have currently or just didn't really do much. So we'll go with that new colony. I think I'll just go for crash landed the default because I don't quite know what I'm doing with this mod. I'd have I have no experience with it. I don't know what to expect. I suspect it'll be pretty brutal, uh, pretty unforgiving. But we'll see. We'll just go with a simple crash landed though for now, I think. And obviously the new storyteller. Protagonists often face their own mortality and insignificance in the universe. Threats to your colony and its sanity will be constant. Can your colony survive a cosmic horror tale? Probably not, but we'll try you on rough anyway. Oh god. The seed will go for... Cthulhu. We'll make it slightly wet. Slightly cold. A bit more cold. That's pretty cold. We'll do it though. Excellent. I see already new faction icons. We've got Dunwich, Industrial Citizens of Red River. Kind of all over the place. And we've got. Looks maybe a, about as frequent. Uh, the Agency as well. And then here we've got, Jesus, what is that? And add for our uh, league. Phew. All right, there's, they're kind of everywhere. Uh, I guess we'll go somewhere over here near the agency. Is that a, is that a good idea or a terrible idea? And then we got, I don't, I don't know. I know nothing about this mod. <laughs> We're just gonna go in and get our ass kicked, I bet. We'll go for somewhere probably mountainous though, because it's a bit more defensible. And I probably won't be doing a vault because I'm already doing that in my start with nothing playthrough. So this time around we'll do a proper village. And probably end up having to wall things off. Depends what the game throws at us. But we've got a decent mountainous area here. It is a bit cold as it should be. The winters are absolutely brutal. Average temperature is pretty low. It is boreal forest though. So there should still be some animals. Should be. We'll go for that. And I'm just going to go for it by front because why not? So if anybody's playing along at home, we are doing the Cthulhu World Seed, uh, all lowercase. And we are starting at 17.36 north, 134.20 west. And all I ask for the colonists is that they are healthy and capable, which they almost never are. It took a bit because there's so many people who are incapable of things and then have just a giant series of injuries that, you know, give them the in pain mood all the time. So to avoid that, I usually just randomize until I get somebody healthy and capable because it's annoying otherwise. And it, uh, it takes a bit of time. So I have to wonder, is there a mod that removes incapabilities? Because I just I simply disagree with that being a thing. I think everybody push come to shove will eventually do simple tasks like hauling or cleaning, or moving a dead body, or feeding somebody something. I think anybody's capable of doing that, and I just prefer they get a negative mood if you make them do that. That would stack, so if you make them do it all day, they're going to be pretty pissy. But if you make them do it just once or twice, it's not too bad. That's what I want, and I'm wondering if there's a mod that does that. Alternatively, I'll settle for just everybody can do everything. I'd be okay with that too, I suppose. But this is what we're going to start with. We're not that great at fighting, which is probably a really bad idea. Uh, but we'll, 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 we'll deal with it, I guess. Hmm, Marsh. Splat. We are... in a pretty bad spot. We can go up northeast, though, where all the marshes. Okay, maybe we'll go up northwest. That might be okay. A little more defensible up there. Slightly. Loads of geothermal, too. Alright, yeah, I guess this will work. I'll, uh, I'll go through the basic things 
And I'll make my decision then. The starting three patron names this time are KPL Zero, Howard Hughes, and Swedish Fish. Again, Patreon supporters get their name in-game as my way of saying thank you. So, if you're wondering why I changed names and sometimes why the names are a bit strange looking, that is why. So everything's unforbidden. We are moving things up to the northwest into just a generic stockpile of anything. And go up there, just so we get it up there. We'll focus on hauling for a bit to move everything up there, and then I'll go ahead and chop trees, harvest bushes, and all that. We started with the husky, which is quite nice. Its name is Nathan. I can't change that. I think the animals tab mod that I used to have allowed me to do so, but I never got around to doing that. But that's okay. Nathan's an okay name for a dog, I suppose. As far as defenses go, I don't know, guys. I mean, it's okay up here, but we're gonna have to grow out eventually when we grow out. Urgh. I mean, yeah, across the marsh and all that, but I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna be fighting. Like, that's the thing. For all I know, there's like flying enemies or something. <laughs> Not sure. Restrictions, standard deal. I cut in to sleep a little bit and fit join the end and beginning of the day and work the rest. The outfits are set for 55 and higher, so they wear something that's good and fresh for a decent while. And the drug policies are basically just, if you're in a bad mood, go for it. Otherwise, please don't. So we'll let them haul again before I uh, queue much up. It is extraordinarily cold here. And the furniture that was added, actually. Let's see what we got here. There we go, gas lamp. Components. Ugh. Tallow wax. Would that be butchers? It's probably cooking stove, right? I don't know. And gas street lamps, yeah, components for those as well. Oh, one of them standing, the other one. No, they're both standing. Which is a different style. Hey, just this different style, okay. A forbidden knowledge center. Oh, hey, requires one grimoire of the occult, you know, no problem. According to it, we already have one. A simplistic table covered in strange symbols, notes, and a tome of forbidden knowledge. Researchers work here to uncover forces beyond. Prolonged usage will result in sanity loss, yet the rewards will be worthwhile. I... I guess we will... Okay, yeah, not enough, sir. It threw me off because the number was white there. So we need to find a, uh, a grimoire of the occult. I... I, I, I don't know. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. A gramophone. Ancient wind-up device utilized to play sound recordings from bygone eras. A radio. Ancient wind-up device utilized to play sound recordings from bygone eras. Now with autoplay. And the archery target and shooting target and all that. Okay. We have a furnace and fridge, which is nice. Cooks meals and produces heat. Runs out of fuel after a few days, as with all heat sources, it must be placed indoors so it has a closed space to heat, refuelable. And meal stored in this will not deteriorate, even if outside. Excellent. So we can do uh, we can do a proper kitchen that we'll probably use for the entire game. Try to stick to the theme somewhat, you know. And what do we got for research? What the fuck? Um Uh Hmm. Hmm. You know what we could use? <laughs> is a tab to switch between mods and all that. Like, core! Here's a standard research tree. And then... Uh... Call of Cthulhu? I don't know, this mod's name as a tab and... And all that, because this auto sort of thing. <laughs> nice and clean over here. That's <laughs> just... What the hell? Alright. Uh, looks like deciphering strange symbols. Uh, 
It looks like this is good to be like the first guy to get. So I guess we'll go for that when we can. How are we doing with the hauling? Getting there. Slowly but surely. Put her sometimes through speed. Some decent stuff though. Actually what I'll do is I'll have... Because I didn't go through any of this. Somebody construct. Oh god, we're all terrible at building. Uh, god, this has always happened. Uh, uh, mine if I don't have you set to do it. Otherwise, construct, and then you can haul. I guess. Yeah. So if I set up some construction and mining, that'll that'll all still get done. Good. Because. I guess we'll borrow this wall. Guess I don't like it being up there. Right. And then table. Long table. Go for a long table. And linkable pews, hey. Nice. Oh, that's hot. That's like the modular tables mod that I need to tell myself to get one day, but I always forget to do. Hmm. Okay. So is there like a ritual spot? Maybe it unlocks afterwards. I don't know. We'll see. And then get our furnace in there because we cook there. The refrigerator. Awesome. And okay, how many refrigerators do I need? Mass, one kilogram. What's that matter? That doesn't matter. It's also really lightweight. <laughs> hmm. We'll see. And there's a chandelier, I think, right? Yeah, there you go, chandelier. Cue one of those up. Oh yeah, all right. Fair enough. That'll get done in a moment. Go ahead and deconstruct that ship part too. It's there. More components. Anything else? Not really. Okay. Well, we're putting corpses over here, right? Yes. So, we can hunt, and the hunter... Uh? Ah, over here nowadays. It'll be you. After hauling. I'll sort through all that in a bit. Otherwise, I'll be, like, rapidly changing it. So, yeah, do a bit of hunting over there. Probably hunt these guys, too. I think I can maybe handle them. We got rifles and stuff. All right, in bedroom. Oh, shit. How'd I forget? Um, steel bedroom? We'll go steel bedroom. We'll go for it. And just... I don't know. Some kind of nice, you know? Oh, there's steel thermal in the way. Well, that's kind of... ideal, actually. We'll, uh... Probably get a vent in there. Right? It's not individual bedrooms. I was going to do that originally, but then I was like, well, we got geothermal. May as well take advantage. So, here we go. We're taking advantage. Later on, that could be like a guest area or something, so it's not really wasted space. Actually, we'll go for a steel door here, too. Ah, eh, nah, wooden door. That's fine. That'll be fine. And if I need to double vent that, I'll do another wall and another vent, because these get pretty hot. So I guess while they sleep, I'll see what I can do for this work schedule here. I've queued up way too much stuff to do, but thankfully I can forbid it, so we'll take it one step at a time here. But I've got... This isn't going to change 
in a bit because I always mess with this and as I get new colonists, they'll be doing other things and so it, it's this is always a work in progress, but for now, uh, Howard Hughes will grow, then research. KPO will help grow to not tie up the research. KPO will also help mine and work with prisoners. Swedish fish will cook and then craft. Pretty simple, not a whole lot I can do. Nobody's really interested or really that great in a lot of stuff. We're all basically the same. <laughs> we're, we're all good at talking and that's it. I expanded the kitchen a bit to make more room for the refrigerators because I don't know what these stores like how much. So I might have to line the walls with them. So if it's its own little side of the kitchen, then it's easy to do. I can also do multiple wood stove furnaces to uh, warm it up faster. And up here, I've modified this a bit so it's not quite so squatty and poopy looking. It is going to be the guest bedroom later on, but for now it's going to be our dorm. Just basic wood beds, basic wood research bench, and basic stool. The wall here is steel. But all of this, everything that's not currently selected, is all just wood, just for cheap labor, and the uh, prisoner room. Four beds, four stools. It's cramped, it's crowded, it's poop, but it'll work. I don't think we'll be getting that many prisoners anyway, so they'll, uh, they'll be happy enough with it. They have a table to eat at, and that's usually enough to get them by. A little stone cutting nook is over here. I plan on carving out a lot of the mountain in this general area because, well, Duh. And we're going to be just moving the chunks down here, stone cut them, and then we can have stone brick so we can do nice cool stone brick roads and flooring because I feel that matches the era. It looks nice anyway. It's easy to build. It takes a while to build, but it's easy to do. And I'm going to have so many chunks I don't know what else to do with them. And down here, lastly, again, this is mostly forbidden. We'll take it one step at a time. But down here is going to be the quote unquote hydroponics. We need power, so I figure fuel generators not only match the era and give me a constant supply of power that I quite enjoy, they also heat up the area. So we'll put down some fuel generators, see how the temperature does in here. I don't know if two is enough. I don't know if only two, maybe do a uh, stove furnace too. Not really sure. We'll play it by ear. And we have access to a lot of rich soil to grow with. So that's where we're at. We'll let them carry on and do their stuff. And hopefully I didn't queue up too much at once because I got a lot of tree chopping to do too. Just massive cut plants, cut plants, cut plants, chop trees, cut plants. Ugh. Oh yes. I queued up like a turkey to hunt. <laughs> Not that we can really do much with it right now, but you know. And as soon as they get some of this wall taken down, I can put in a butcher table. Roofing. It'll be a while, especially since we're all terrible with construction. Like, look at that, we're failing to put up walls and stools. Ugh. It's tricky. Ugh. Okay, um. Just, thanks, real quick. Looks like they don't deconstruct as early as they used to now. The butcher table. Bop. It's not outdoors, you shush. Yeah, these do need power. I figured they would. 50 watts? Easy. So easy. I don't know how much you store. Strange simple meal, strange lavish meal. What? A complex dish assembled with care from wide selection of odd ingredients. Mm. All right. And the idea with the steel wall here is a protection, but b it's nicer. Uh, it's not. We need materials. We need wood, I presume. How much wood do we need? 35? Oh, there you go. Work on this guy. Th thanks. Okay, good. We left enough for the bed. Good. There, we all have a... We all have a bedroom. Sort of. Pulling stool to wall, chopping out the tree. We're not enclosed yet. I'm 
Alright, so tomorrow we'll have a bedroom. The kitchen and dining is almost done. They just gotta deconstruct. Whoa, yeah, don't deconstruct that. I was originally gonna have it off to the right, but then it got a little too close to this area, and I kind of like that. Eventually, I'll probably mine this out a little bit to give us another way around. Maybe another door or something. I don't know. We'll see. I don't really want to shove myself in this corner. I'd like to build out a bit. But I don't know what to expect with the... Uh, Mm, I don't know what to expect with the new AI and the new factions and all that. What do we even have for factions? I don't even know. Got and at Ferora League, the Outlander Union, the Purple Rock Pact, the Hostile Tribe, the Agency, the Industrial Citizens of Red River, that's a fishing village, and Agony Party, the Pirate Band, and of course the Nasty Cthulhuish horrors, I imagine, are going to be in there somewhere as well. Not as a faction, though. Similar to, like, the Spacers. Right? In fact, it might even just be a rename of the, of the Spacers. If a crash ship pod lands nearby and there's, like, some nasty tentacly monster in there, um, I'm not saving it. Will be doing stone cutting. Swedish fish will be. Because I'm going to have you be doing that pretty much all day. And it looks like you're going to be doing that after cooking. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. So KP will be mining, Swedish Fish will be crafting, and Howard Hughes will be hunting, growing, and researching. Okay, so we all have, we all have busy work. Right, butcher table, what do we got here? Strange kibble, huh. Raw strange meat. <laughs> Cthulian strips. Oh, Cthulian strips, sorry. Cthulhid. Cthulhid meat. Dark young meat. Deep one meat. Migo meat. Shogoth meat. Star vampire meat. Untouchable meat. Jesus. And, and also agave berries, crumb potatoes, and rice. Star vampire meat with agave. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. With hay? Wait, we can. Oh, right. Kibble. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And butcher creature, yeah. So the tallow though, do we cook it? Make wax? Make wax out of their meat. Out of just meat we make wa uh, wax. Just for, oh, from animal fat. Okay, what about the tallow though? For the, uh, like lighting. I mean, that's components and all that. I mean, gas lamp I could do. Tallow wax. Maybe that's what it means. Just wax is tallow wax. It's probably what it is. Uh, steel? We need steel. So, Mr. Miner Man. Go ahead and push you a one on mining. And you'll be working on this. There might be steel in there somewhere. However. Yeah, really it's just that spot off to the right. Uh, not a horrible, horrible haul. That needs deconstructing still. Hey, there's some, there's some steel down here. Shit. Yeah, work on that, and then we'll all just haul the steel up, get it done with. This is going to be steel in here too, like a hundred, I think. Need research project. I'll do it. Um, occupational clothing. Oh, cool. As far as complex clothing, which we start with. Uh, strange. Oh, forbidden knowledge center. Oh, that's a bench. Right. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Which is... Production, miscellaneous, forbidden knowledge center. Yeah, we need a grimoire, though. Don't know how to get a grimoire. Ugh. So... I guess... Occupational clothing first. K. 
Okay, we're working. We're officially working on other stuff. So we're done with construction for now. We need more plant cutting for more wood. We need to do the prison still. The stone cutting area can wait a bit. I think. I think this will come next. So we'll unforbid all that. Okay, cool. Hauling wood, but first. Awesome steel. Awesome steel. Digging it slight. Awesome steel. Ugh. Industrial citizens of Red River are visiting with stuff to trade. Brett, Sissy, and Sky. And that is not pack muffalo, it's just regular muffalo. A steel pull hook. An awful steel pull hook. Ugh. A meat hooked a meat hook fixed to the end of a pole, a terrifying weapon to behold. Not really. <laughs> Steel hot branding iron. Jesus. So a lot of new weapons and stuff too. It's a whole new game. Sort of. I've got that again just in case they decide to like dig themselves in or build themselves in because I love doing that kind of stuff. Okay, let's get you to do still 40 steel down there. All that KPO, all that get those up there. Yeah, I guess we'll head over and mine up this guy. Pain in the ass to get to, so I think I will. I think I will do that. Mm, against better judgment. I think I will. And then cancel this, because I wanted to do that first. Because we need a lot of seal. It uh, took a lot to do the walls. And didn't I... I did a uh, chair here. I'm nervous because I don't know, I, I don't know what I'm going to be fighting or how much. KPO, uh, right, guests, entertain, default is entertain. <laughs> Just dragged it up there, yeah, that's, drag it on up, okay, 100%, let's do it. Oh yeah, try to entertain them, that's just talking to them real quick. If you're not familiar with the hospitality mod, uh, mod I highly recommend it. It's very, very good. You build uh, build guest bedrooms, a place for them to stay, give them some joy activities, entertain them, and you can get your relationship up with the faction pretty quickly. They leave stuff down for your hospitality, and you can eventually recruit them. You can also exploit it, and if it's somebody shopping, or shopping, somebody coming by to sell you stuff, you can just recruit that person. You could like trade with them if you want, and then try to recruit that person. And it hurts your reputation overall with the faction recruiting pe their people. But, uh, you know, you can easily get that back up after a few visits. Anyway, uh, faction name, which should the faction be called? Abedias, I guess. We'll be here for a while. Should get the community a name. The local community is Histed Born. Histed Born of Bedias. Sure. So eventually we'll, uh, eventually we'll wake up. <clears throat> We're all sleeping in. Oh god, cult-mindedness. Shows how accepting your kindness is of cult-like activities. If the meter crosses the major threshold, they are initiated as a cultist. If the meter crosses the minor threshold, this pawn may become hostile toward cultists or cultist activities. Ooh. Alright, so let's go for... I mean, I, I kept them up. I kept some of them up late to do the whole... hauling thing. I guess we'll do, we'll do this, I guess. Well, don't worry about joy at the end of the day, it's fine. Ah, ah, back and forth. Go ahead and do it because it's optional. If you don't need the joy, then, well, you won't do it, but you're going to need the joy because you've been working all day. 
but it allows you to go to bed early and then you can wake up earlier and then do the joy at the beginning of the day and then work through the rest of the joy hour at the beginning of the day. Uh, we'll see. And they're all sleeping right now so we can't talk to them or anything. Engaged Sky, the Enforcer. And also, Brett, we improved it. 74% chance of improving it. And then Sissy's still asleep. They're just lying around, just on stools and stuff. <laughs> Not sleeping, just kind of lying there. And you are spoiling in one day. Let's go ahead and butcher creature. Do forever. So the cook will do that, Swedish fish. Awesome. Sissy is still sleeping. Which is annoying. Because you are the the actual trader. Ugh. Occupational clothing's done. So further complicated garments for common occupations, such as detectives, police, nurses, and fishermen. What else can we do? Riot combat gear, I guess. Allows the creation of advanced threat disabling combat gear. Okay. Says he's still asleep. I think she might be dead. She'll be waking up soon. And then we can go over and trade. Oh, there we go. Trade, uh, in the tree. <laughs> Just like shoving tree branches aside. Hey, what have you got for me? Nothing. Not a whole lot. At all. Like, at all. I'll take the toque. Thanks. And who is your iron will, so you'll be fine. Jealous, teetotal, or optimist, though. Wow, we're actually, I didn't even notice that. Optimist. Iron willed. Iron willed. Shit. Okay, but you have the two gay guess. No particular reason. I mean, you don't break very easily, none of us do. Mad animal, local rat. It'll be here eventually. Okay, they're absolutely amazed they'll visit again in a few days. Sissy absolutely enjoyed her stay. She left me the 40 smoke leaf joint that I didn't sell. Or buy. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Shit. Sure. Uh, that looks weird. Pirate Hughes, look out! Look out for the rat! Who's it after? It's just moving. It's not after anybody in particular yet. Swedish fish, look out! It's a rat, it's not that threatening. <laughs> it's fine. And suppose in one day. Yeah, it should. It freezes overnight, I think. And it's it's going to be midsummer, so pretty soon the temp outside's gonna be dropping. So yeah. Let's go for plant cutting. Help out with that instead of research. Cause I don't even know I don't even have like a bench for riot gear or any of that. KPO growing mining, then plant cutting, it's fine. Crafting and all that. Uh, Howard Hughes has begun obsessively writing pages on strange symbols. What the shit? What the fuck are you doing? What are you. Way down there? What the fuck? Alright. An eerie tree ready to harvest. An ominous tree with an incredible. In, uh, indescribable aura approaching this tree causes most colonists a great deal of anxiety. 
Drawing closer, Colin is swear they hear voices speaking to them in strange tongues. Stop it. Quit it, get away from there. You're consuming a peck and survival meal. Taking a really dumb route for it. Riding in a frenzy, again. Fuck. Let the guy eat. Why are you bringing me way down though? Oh my god. Wait, did anybody else see that? I thought I saw something that was like minus some thousand mood. Oh my god. Oh my god, major breakers. What the fuck? Howard Hughes has no memory of the writing that is still slightly dampened from the sweat of their labors. It has it is a ghastly book filled with strange alien language that is not readily understood. The ominous looking diagrams of ritual sacrifices and spells within the tome has some countenance unnerved by its occult nature, whereas others have proposed setting up a proper research center to further describe it, or further study it. Right, so we got the grimoire. There it is. Haul it real quick, would you? God. Oh my god. He's freaking the fuck out, guys. Quick. Smoke up. It's fine. Relax. Calm down. Jesus. Okay, but we have the grimoire now. Or er, grimoire, whatever. So, I guess with that, I don't know what's going on with the tree or why he was down there in the first place. It's fucked up. Um. Well, do I have to have- does it count as research bench? Doesn't require a specific bench, so anything should work, I guess. Right? Right, you're going over to there, mind that. It's so far away. So's that. God, if I knew that shit was gonna happen, I would've chosen a smaller map. Ugh. That's a good lifespan. I'll try chopping it down, see what happens. Swedish fish, you in an okay mood. Made to find me all awful barracks, slept in the cold, sleep sleep share bedroom. Building a generator. I'll let you to it. I'll let you get to it, rather. Uh, KPO, come on down. Cut down this eerie tree. Let's see what happens. Consuming turkey meat. Raw, mmm. Yes, raw meat. Okay, hold on. Deconstruct this real quick. I thought this day would come. Harvest berry bushes. And we'll just eat the berries. Because we need, we need to fuel this with the wood that we don't really have right now. They look somewhat, okay. Bills make wax. No, don't actually do that. Simple meal. Uh, go between 5 and 10. Please stop. Hmm, yeah, that takes time. How's the tree doing? All right, cool. Job done. Excellent. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know. Get the rocks out of there. Did you end up eating the raw meat? Jesus. Uh, no. Halsey from the Agony Party was wandering nearby and noticed he could use some help. I'd like to join my county for a while. Okay. Factory worker, tracer, careful shooter, and a green thumb. Okay.
Hi. Hi, Halsey. You're, you're uh, basically naked. You got pants, at least. So that, that's good. Um, hi, though. Here, Ben. W welcome. Is there anything gonna have you haul up on your way? Looks like no. Okay. Swedish fish is cooking the best he can. We harvested it. Uh, uh, Harvested some of the berries. Still working on all the- I queued up just so much stuff. Like, this is ridiculous. I almost never do this anymore. But, uh... Well, too late now. Miscellaneous Forbidden Knowledge Center. Get one of those in there. It says I don't have. Build station. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let's do it that way. It claims I don't have enough. Sometimes I don't have enough of that stored, but we'll see. I'll beat the judge of that. Looks like these store a decent amount. Gerben. Oops. Gerben, I'm going to have you help plant cut for now. Howard Hughes, drop your rifle. Gerbin will take that. Gerbin also. No, not the knife. The toque. Have the toque. So you're gonna help out with plant cutting because I need a lot more wood. I'd like to get this finished up and roofed. Will we be able to roof that actually? I think we'll be able to. I think we'll be able to, but I will. I'll just do a steel wall. There. A steel support beam. Just, you know, just in case. I don't think I need it, though. 